my good mate's Joe Baldwin. He um, he's a good motocross rider. Moto dude, yeah, yeah, moto. Yeah. Dude. I think he got tenth in the nationals a couple of years ago or last year. Anyway, really good moto dude. Like always hoses me. But anyway, we go out to the sand track and we're out there. And I was like, got there. And I was like, this is when I started to pick a bit more momentum back up. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do a thirty minute moto. Like I normally do ten minute motos. I'm like, no, we'll do a thirty. Mm. So I set my watch up and go out and I start going around. And Jobin always goes longer than me, but he just pulled out like 20 minutes. Like he didn't know what I was doing. Anyway, so he pulled in, I kept going and I misread my watch and I actually did 30 kilometers, which ended up being like a 45 minute moto oh, in a wow. sand track. But I was, I was wrecked, but I was like, I did it. Like I was, that's, but I was in that headspace. that I was just like, just keep going. You're not there yet. Yeah. Anyway, I finished it, went back and Jobin kind of gave me a bit of shit for like, what are you doing? Like doing massive motos or whatever. So we go back out and we leave the same time. And then in my head, I'm like, I'm just going to go longer than you again. Like yeah. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. That's where I want to be at. And this, I've read this book, um, David Goggins can't hurt me. Yeah, and he talks about taking souls, which is pretty much just like just breaking someone. Like, yeah. you, do you think they can, you've got more than you? You've got a bit more. Like that's where you need to be. So I'm like, it's a fucking weird place to be, but it's definitely yeah, works. Yeah. So I went into this spot where I'm like, I'm just gonna beat you. Like, I'm just gonna because go, I knew it would piss him off as well. Like he's yeah. super competitive, so am I. But I'm like, I'm just gonna go longer than you. So we're going out there, we start doing laps, and we get to 30 minutes, and he's like, doesn't stop. I'm like, fuck. So we keep going, we get to 45 minutes, doesn't stop, keep going. We get to an hour, I end up having like a little crash, not bad, hopped up, keep going. It's starting to get dark at this point. So I've got tinted lenses on and like the sun's going down. I can't see anything. So I'm like, pull the goggles off, go around my neck, keep going, hour 10, keep keep going. And I'm like, it's fully dark now. Like we can't see a thing. And then it keeps going around and I just keep looking and he's like, he's not stopping. <laughs> My carpal tunnel's killing me. I can't even hang on at this point. I cra- I've crashed again in the sand, picked myself up. I'm like, you could just stop. Like, why keep going? Keep going. Anyway, we get to an hour 30. We're still going. It's fully pitch black. We're like putting around. You can barely even see anything. <laughs> That's so sick. And then he, and we're like, we're just looking at each other like, who's going to stop first? And then he just gasses it off again. We keep going. We get to an hour 45 and I come around the corner. His bike's run out of fuel. He's pushing it. He's pushing it along the track. And we just burst out into laughter because i was like like it was so and then i pulled over next to him and then my bike stalled because it was out of fuel as well and i was like that is how bad you've got to want it you've yeah. got to want it an hour 40 in a sand track until it goes dark and then your bike's got to run out of fuel and you got to keep pushing it that's how bad you've got to want something and I, in my head then i was like i want it this bad that like if you can get your mindset to want anything that bad you'll get it and that's yeah. and then i went into that i was like i really like this is a change this is a change in me that i was like that's how bad you've got to want anything though. It's like you mm. want to build your podcast up, you got to do an hour 40 in the sand, dark, you've got to crash twice, you've got to have carpal tunnel and still keep going. Yeah. Because like that to someone like look, look impossible. Like who goes out and does an hour 40 moto in the duck? But it's just like you or can you just capable. go, Or you make a million reasons like, well, there's no motos that are an hour and 45 yeah. in racing. Yeah. Like you, your brain can make a million ways oh. why you shouldn't do something and justify it mm. like perfectly. And that... That was, I reckon, one of the big things with me is that I would always, always be able to come up with the most creative and rational way to talk myself out of doing something that I just simply didn't want to do. Yeah. And as soon as you can like hack that system to where it's like you said, you know, like you just hear that, that voice. Mm. You're just like, fuck, man, you can do so much. Because people have that sometimes. Like people have that when they're like, they're in a good place, when they're at work at a mm. certain point. But like... You've got to you've got to have that all the time. You've yeah. got to have that when you go into your like jujitsu class when you're already wrecked. You got to want that at four a.m. when you're waking up. You got to re- want that after you've done like like any time when it's tough. Like that's when you got to want it. Everyone wants it like at the race weekend. They want it. Yeah, like, yeah. When they've got all these eyes on them, it's just like want it for yourself, and you've got to want it all the time. You can't be. What's part-time. the who's the one that said like oh, something like work when no one's watching or something like that? That's when yeah. That's mm. we we get so glorified in a public eye for everything we do in private. And it's just like, like no one, and I don't like to promote it either because it's like, I kind of, I'd like to promote a mindset of like, you can do it because that's all I've got now, man. I've just got this mindset like, well, I can do it. And I a hundred percent believe that. So I want to like try and let other people that it like would listen to this and be like, why can't I do it? Like, there's no reason you can't. And that's the whole thing with like the fear of not being able to like of doing it. That's the because thing I think that stops that's, people. That's the voice, the fear, the fear of like, oh, and that's a little voice. Like, oh, but you hurt yourself if you run a marathon or this or that. It's that fear. And it's like, if you can get rid of the fear, man, or understand yourself why you have it, oh, you can change everything. If you mm. overcome that fear, and I've been doing, like with cold, I do cold showers a lot now and like ice bath stuff, and it's because it's like you have the fear of the cold, yeah. but you know it's good for you, but you still don't Snake-o dive in. Snake loves them. Yeah, but even with the snake thing, man, like I'm 
petrified of snakes. Yeah. And I'm like, but but that's just been programmed into me. But I'm like, I want to deprogram that because I want to just overcome that fear because how good will you feel? Yeah. It's like the fear of like starting a podcast, the fear of talking to a girl, the fear of like following a dream or taking a risk. I'm like, if you can find that fear and then overcome it, you just keep overcoming stuff and you drop it. Like to not be fearful of anything is like the goal in life, I feel like, because then you'll just be so content with the, the being in the now and being happy. It's so like such an obvious thing, but at the same yeah. time, it's like people get so caught up in all this other stuff that they take away from it.